What's going on everybody? If you're new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment or not and play Halo Infinite. Who cares? I just played it. It's pretty cool. The multiplayer is fun. But yeah, let's get back to the game. I believe I've already read that. Yeah. Hazel shakes me again even more insistently than the last time. Keep a girl company, why don't ya? It's such a lovely morning. It's a shame to waste it. Let's go have some fun. For all Hazel's wheedling, I doubt going jogging will be fun. Some people are made for exercise and I, alas, am not, am not one of them. M, um, am. <laughs> My stamina is decent, I guess, but I don't see the point of jogging. You have to gasp for air, you get all sweaty, and if you're not careful, you can turn an ankle. People who go jogging, jogging, juggler, juggling. <laughs> People who go jogging for fun are strange, alien breed to me. Oh wait, no. Yeah, correct. Even more so than succubi. I'll never understand them. I don't see why anybody would want to make themselves miserable when life is already so stressful. Hazel's proposition is not an, an uh, is not an attractive one, but she sure is being insistent. My goodness, it, in some way this is good. This is a good practice for me, for school. You know when I'm gonna explain something, I gotta make it smooth as possible, as possible. Okay, going back to the game. We're sidetracking. Please, Hiroki. Please, please, please. I just want to spend more time with you. Wait, did I? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad she wants to spend time with me so much, but I'm not. I'm so not in the mood for this. What should I do? Blow? Whoa! I think we should jog. It's good for Hiroki. Uh, if I can jog with someone that I like to have as a company, you know, maybe a friend, acquaintance, yeah, I'll go for it. Sure, I'll force myself. No problem. Going back to the game? Oh, alright. Oh wait no, it's, it needs to be sad. Oh, all right, fine. I eventually cave after a brief pause. I'll come along with you, but only once, you hear? I don't want to make a habit of it, and I don't want to spend the rest of my morning sweating into my moose, moose, miso soup. Holy crap, that was a mouthful. Yay, thank you, Hiroki. Hazel leans in, then presses a quick kiss on my mouth. Quick. You're the best. I love you. You're only saying that because I gave you what you want. That's true, I guess. But I'm not materialistic like Ayu. I don't want gold or jewels. I only want to be with you. Alright, boys. She's a keeper. Comment down below. Which do you prefer? Which of the succubi girls do you prefer? Oh, crap. Double click. Misclick. That was so sweet. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. And I'm not even gotten out of bed yet. The rest of the day does not bode well. Now, why did I agree to, to do this again? Because for the thumbnail, bros! Look at that, editor, check that in, click that in, let's go, that's the thumbnail right there. Episode 12. How are you holding up back there, Hiroki? You doing okay? I'm still alive, that constitutes as being okay. Great, let's keep on pushing then. I'd really rather not. But I did agree to go jogging with Hazel. Under duress, I might add. I made my bed and now I've got to lie in it. Or run it in it, I suppose. Jeez, I'd really like to go back to bed and get some more shut eye. I've been jogging with Hazel for about half an hour or thereabouts, and the sun has yet to fully rise. The sky is a warm reddish pink, the sunlight playing through Hazel's ponytail and, and across her skin. She's wearing not her casual attire, but a set of clothes more suitable for a workout, a sports bra, and a pair of very short shorts. She and Cosmos must share similar fashion sensibilities. Not, not that I've ever seen Hazel wearing a pair of cat ears before. Now that might, now that might be something special. Hazel and I are ascending a dirt track cut into the side of a hill. Trees fringe us on the left, and when I look to the right, I can see the beach beneath me. It gets smaller and smaller as we continue our trek. My shoes thump against the dirt while my heart pumps in my chest. I couldn't, I think you didn't read that properly. As we continue our trek, 
Shrek, 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 Shrek. I just call it Shrek. Uh, double click. I don't have I don't have any running shoes, just old sneakers, and they don't do much to cushion the impact of my soles meeting the ground. Yes. So if you want to do jogging, you gotta have some kind of jogging shoes or something, or your shoes that cushion your feet. Trust me. Very. I mean, it's way better than using chinelas, you know, or you know, flip flip flops. Doesn't really work. Once you get home, you'll. You'll be filled with the painful feet or not filled filled with the feeling of painful sore feet and ankles all right going back to the game i'm a little worried my laces will come untied and then i'll go sprawling that would be pre pretty embarrassing i'm covered in sweat too which is equally embarrassing but at least i'm not the only one Hazel might be a sporting celeb, but she's not immune from the excretion of bodily fluids. She's looking a bit damp too. I mean, if you're gonna jog, you gotta expect to get damp at least. I guess we can sweat together beneath the rising sun. This is a pretty cool background picture. Nothing at all. How romantic. Come on Hiroki, let's pick up the pace. You're doing really well, but I think you could push yourself a bit harder. I'd rather not push myself at all. I'm already starting to flag. But Hazel's not looking at me anymore. Her eyes are focused straight ahead, blazing with determination, focusing on the goal. She sure is giving this her all. I thought, wait, yeah. I thought she said this would be light jog. She promised me we could go at my own pace. But Hazel's so in the zone, nothing seems to matter save the pace she wants to set. I am but a lonely peon. Oh, lowly, lonely. I'm but a lowly peon who can do not but follow in her footsteps. Wait up. Don't, don't go off too far. I scramble to keep up with her, my heart pounding all the while. I think I'm developing a stitch in my side. My stomach hurts. If we keep going for much longer, I'm afraid I might throw up. I think that's the appendix or something. It's hurting. Or maybe the side of the abdominal muscles i don't know i can't remember why it hurts somebody search that up hazel has more stamina than i could ever imagine i mean she she's a sporty person an athlete it'll be years light years even before i'm ever able to go toe to toe with hazel williams i've always respected hazel's athleticism but this morning i receive a reminder of just how incredible she is incredible and maybe a little insensitive when she's going to stop this? When I'm dead? I really hope I don't die. Not before I've had a chance to get back and eat the breakfast I know Hifumi will have prepared for me. That's one silver lining to all this. Ah, oh, oh. Guess I gotta just, you know, keep going for now. I can't be as energetic as Hazel, but I'm still going to do my best. I stagger back to Ai's beach house covered in sweat. My shirt sticking uncomfortably to my chest. I wa I wash myself off. I wash. <laughs> I wash myself off in the shower as soon as I'm able. Then towel myself dry. Fortunately, the others don't choose to intrude upon me, and I finish my ablutions. Ablutions. Ablutions in double quick time. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right. I knew it. I knew it with double, like double click. Again, I change into a fresh shirt and a pair of shorts, then enter the kitchen, guided by the scent of Hifumi's mouth-watering cooking. She's already finished preparing most of the food, and it's arranged on the table like some sort of, uh... What is that? Banquet? Oh yeah, so some sort of banquet. Grilled fish, pickled plums, miso soup, raw egg over rice. There's a lot of varied dishes, and they look delicious, especially after my workout. Right now, I can't think of anything more attractive than carbs. You look like you've been through the war, Ziroki. Your hair is all tousled. Tousled. Tousled? Tousled. Hifumi giggles elegantly, one hand pressed to her cheek. I meanwhile groan. I feel like I've been through the wars. My feet hurt, and I'm afraid I can't bend my legs anymore, you know? Oh dear, did you go jogging with Hazel? Yeah, I did. I didn't have much choice. She descended on me while I was sleeping in the early hours of the morning. Oh, double click. I did try to refuse at first, but she was so adamant. I would have felt mean. 
A spasm of pain shoots down my spine, which makes me wince. I don't feel any healthier after my jog with Hazel. In fact, I feel distinctly unhealthier. It, you'd feel like shit at first, not gonna lie. But then you slowly build up, you push harder and harder and harder. Maybe a little bit, maybe this time you go a little bit further than before. And trust me, it's gonna be worth it. The hard part is doing it every day. That's discipline, not just commitment right there. It's not normal to suffer back pains like this at my age, damn it. You poor thing. Yeah, I'm correct. Ifumi shakes her head compassionately. You need to replenish the energy you've lost. I hope my cooking is enough to satisfy you. Believe me, it's more than enough. You might be a succubus, but in the kitchen, you're a goddess. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Eat up then, my dear Hiroki. You can have as much as you like. You've earned it. If there is anything else you wish to try, do not hesitate to ask. I can whip it up in no time. Nothing is too much trouble for you. Alright. Yeah. Thanks, Ifumi. I ease myself gingerly down into a chair, ho hoping to incur the least amount of physical anguish as possible, but for naught. Another spasm of pain ripples through my back and I have to greet, grit my teeth together to quit it. He's got back pain while jogging. Oh, it is weird. But through exercise, it should alleviate some back pain. Some, not all of it. If you're, you're, if you're anyone's experiencing intense back pain and there's no remedy for it, go to a doctor fast. Alright, this is misery. It feels like the cartilage has been slowly and systematically been scooped from my bones to be replaced with molten iron. Why would anybody do this to themselves? All joggers must be masochists of the highest degree. Oh, good point. Remember, Hazel is a masochist, so working out, a little bit of pain, she likes it, buddy. Hopefully, Hifumi's food will help me forget about my aches and pains. Thanks for the food, itadakimasu. I'm going to dig in. Let's go. If there's one good thing about jogging, it's that I've worked up quite the appetite. I've always liked Hifumi's cooking, but it looks and tastes even more appealing now. What do you think? Hifumi surveys me curiously. I is the grilled mackerel to your liking? I hope it isn't too potent. No, it's incredible. The skin's nice and crispy and the meat inside is so tender it's full of flavor. It tastes particularly good with the rice and miso soup. Oh, double click. Thank you Hifumi, you're a star. Well, I wouldn't go that far. One does not wish to get a swollen head after all. But but thank you he <laughs> he seeing you devour my food so eagerly never eagerly never fails to bring a smile to my face i continue to shovel food into my mouth I, you know even when the others arrive in the kitchen first a freshly showered hazel then a harumphing ayu then a half asleep cosmos i think we're, we still got like two minutes left why are you eating like that hiroki the food isn't going to grow legs and walk away you ought to mind your manners. Yeah, I'm correct. Now, now, Ayu, let him be. He's just tired is all. After the workout session I gave him, he needs to get his energy back. What workout session? Oh, you know, in bed. Hey, just kidding. Nope, didn't happen. Hazel grins. I was so eager, I couldn't hold myself back. I went into his room this morning and shook him awake and insisted, though he didn't want to at first. He said he was too tired, but I persuaded him ad otherwise. I really put him through his paces. I'm surprised he can still sit up. His body must be feeling re his his body must be really feeling the heat. Maybe I should have gone easier on him. Double click. I feel a bit bad about it now. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? Ayu glares at Hazel, her face on fire. I can't believe you, you're so shameless, it's not even 9 yet and you're already talking about filth. I don't want to hear about your escapades with Hiroki, I have no interest in it whatsoever. Hmm. Huh? But I was only talking about jogging after all. I think you might have given Ayu the wrong impression. <laughs> Jeez. Hazel seems to know how to push people's buttons even when it's unintended. She's not the most sensitive she's not the most sensitive of people or the most thoughtful, but I can't dislike her when she smiles like that. 
Sorry if I was too hard on you, Hiroki. I tried to hold back, but when I start jogging, something just flips inside my head. I hope you didn't hate your time with me at the very least. It was difficult, yeah, but I don't suppose I hated it. The sunrise was rather pretty, if nothing else. Then does that, does that mean you'll go jogging with me again sometime? Now you're getting ahead of yourself, young lady. I should hazel down promptly before she can draw up a training schedule for me. I have precisely zero interest in toning my legs and abs. I just want to relax in the sunshine and he eat Hifumi's cooking. Cooking. Is that really too much to ask? Yeah, viewers, is that really too much to ask for me? Cutting this video right here is 16 minutes in. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, or don't. No problem. Everybody got decisions in life. Everybody's busy. And I'll be seeing you in the next episode of Sakura Succubus 4. Thanks for watching. Bye!